Hi, I'm here with uh, Ben, who is in charge of the land committee for the fireworks. Apparently, there's more than one committee in charge. Yes. So there's land. And there's sea. There's sea. No air. No, no air. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's land and sea fireworks. Uh. Where are the fireworks deployed? We only see them up in the sky, but uh, apparently they're deployed in more than one place. Yes, definitely. Where, where? So we're being through. Uh. Mm -hmm. There's actually tower one to tower nine. Okay, all the files are actually mounted on top okay, of the towers. And for the mid-level mid -level fireworks, uh, okay, uh, at the back of it, the stage uh, is actually firing uh, from the mid-level barge. Yeah, there's actually two. Uh, one on the left and actually one on the right. There's actually uh, the land fireworks. Of course, other than that, there's actually throughout the stage area, the eye, and uh, some props. That's all handled by the uh, land committee. Oh, so, so the eye has fireworks coming out? Uh? Yes, coming up. The finale, there's one really big one. Where does that come from? It's actually uh, from the high level barge. High level barge is actually uh, this little platform, okay, which is actually fired in the middle okay, of the uh, bay itself. And how do you activate all these uh, separate uh, barges and, and different uh, towers? How, do, how, do, how are they fired? The uh, majority is actually all being programmed, okay, but then uh, there's actually some of them which is uh, manual fire. Uh, there's actually a time code run. Okay, uh, which actually synchronized with all the musics and all the performance, all time code. Majula pa. Oh, like that. Yeah. So if the fella maju pa, then timing off lah. Like timing off lah. Oh. Okay. Chop it. Ah. <laughs> Watch your step. This is my safety harness. Everything is about safety here. So to go up the tower, you must wear. A bit tight ah. Can loosen or not? You all saw mountain climbing movie before? Ah, like that lah. But I'm just using it to cross the small little hole there lah. Okay, so I have to put this here. Then this one I put the other side when I reach the other end lah. Yeah, it's one small step for everybody else, but one big step for Brown lah. Mummy! Okay, so... I'm going to hook this one to something here. Okay. Now it's my turn to go up. I'm here at the top of the tower and uh, installing the fireworks for this tower here. This is a comet and this is a mine. You know, comet. Psst. Psst. Yeah. Kenny! Yes. You are in charge of installing this on the tower? Yes. How many are you installing? There are 40 over pieces on this tower alone. 40 over? Yeah. Wow. Take a long time to install? No? Probably two hours. For so. one tower? Yeah. Every rehearsal and every National Day Parade for the day itself, you must install again and again? This is like 50%, so on the actual will be around 80 pieces. 80 yeah, on the actual day? How work? Ah? Hello. Want a drink? No thanks. Hi, I'm here uh, on a little island, uh, what I call Fireworks Island, uh, floating in the middle of Marina Bay. And here is where they uh, deploy the fireworks for NDP, for the grand finale especially. Behind me, the gentleman uh, installing the fireworks, they call it lobbing the shell. They're putting into the tubes and then they run the uh, electrical cable uh, to uh, you know, some pyro electronic box. Then a fairy will come, sprinkle some fairy dust, then wave a wand, and then the fireworks will all come up. I don't want to be too technical. Come here, there. So on the day itself, when you see the grand finale and the fireworks are all dancing in the sky, remember that all this come from very uh, hard work, sweat, sunburn, and all these not very glamorous looking tubes. Apparently the NDP is not just happening at the floating platform, they are taking the NDP to the uh, heartlands like Topayo Hub and uh, here people are gathered to watch performances, lucky draw as well as uh, you know take a look at the photo exhibition, there's a contest going on, it's quite exciting, let's go check it out. Behind me, uh, you can kind of fill out your wishes for Singapore and put them on the, on the board behind. Quite meaningful, uh, like post-it notes. Uh. I'm here with Darius, uh, who is responsible for this year's NDP mascot. How do you come up with this design? 
Uh, initially, this was actually meant for a, a promotional poster to actually attract NUS students to help collaborate with us for a mini game. It turned out that my superiors happened to like it, so we actually used it for the Facebook. You NS boy? Eh? Yeah, NS. That's why when you say superiors, I was like, so do you got extra day off for drawing this? Eh? Um, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> you all know what to do, huh? Superiors. Uh, draw already, must give some reward. Lah. Yeah. Every weekend, they're going to have different uh, locations for the road shows. So for NDP, it will be moving from one highland to another. Behind me, the stage is where they're going to be performing later on. And uh, apparently, they're giving away tickets to the NDP itself as well. It's quite a good price. Eh? Hey, you all never get tickets for me. Eh? Normally, I find road shows like this cheesy and tacky, but I have to say though, the idea of bringing the National Day Parade to the Heartlands, to your doorstep, I think it's a great idea and it's pretty meaningful. And besides, this is a great way to win tickets to the National Day Parade itself. I want to win also.